So I finished my live coding challenge for the week, and I'd like to go through a couple of my takeaways from it. For one thing, I think it served its purpose. Uh, the purpose was to not necessarily to get better at coding challenges um, and algorithms, even though I think that was one of the side effects, uh, but mostly to put myself in a situation that was stressful and humiliating um, that's similar to an interview um, so that I could get used to coding live in front of other people watching me, watching me just stumble through my thought process and different things. Um, because when I've done it at interviews, I freeze up, my brain stops working, and even the simplest things uh, become impossible. Um, so I think it has served that purpose. It, it, uh, it's gotten a lot easier. The second video I almost didn't even make. Like, I just was so terrified I was going to get one that I couldn't finish. I would just freeze up, and I was committing myself to posting it anyway. Um, but, but I did it, and after that, it just got easier. Um, and it's that fear of failure, that fear of looking stupid, that fear of what people are going to think. Um, it really can keep, it really does paralyze us from taking the risks that will basically lead to achieving our goals, achieving what we want. Um, so, so it's nice. I, I heard a good uh, book title today called, uh, what it, was it called? Brave Not Perfect. And I love that book title. I don't even know what it's about, but I love the title. <laughs> Brave Not Perfect. Um, not being afraid of failure. But, uh, so that was one thing. Another thing that it kind of made me think about, especially with people's comments about how basically think that coding challenges should be done away with, you know, that there must be a better way of interviewing people. Um, it's just very interesting to me that that's a very strong opinion that a lot of people have, and yet it's so prevalent. Um, it's kind of like taking tests, taking an IQ test or something, you know. Um, it's kind of a quick, easy way to find out if someone's smart or not, or I don't know. Uh, which, you know, actually my, my, for me personally, I think intelligence wise, or like, um, at least the kind of intelligence that algorithms require, like the problem solving and the breaking down into tiny little things, um, <clears throat> not necessarily my strong suit personally. Uh, for me, it's probably more like thinking outside the box, uh, finding new approaches to things, um, being very resourceful. Like, I know how to find out how to do things, even if I can't figure it out myself. Uh, and especially with Google, with other developers, with all sorts of resources, um, you don't really need to be able to figure it out yourself. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, Oh yeah, but is there a better way? And I'd like to bring up two examples, not from my own experience, but from different friends that I know who uh, had very interesting interview experiences that made more sense to me. Um, one friend uh, had an interview um, where they, I mean, she didn't have a coding challenge. They just showed her some of the code that she'd actually be working on, like this, corporate level uh, um, repo of lots and lots of code. <laughs> Just overwhelming um, size. And um, and basically showed it to her, walked through it a little bit, and talked to her about it. And, and that makes sense to me because it shows what it's more what she would actually be doing on the job. She'd be looking at this already in production code um, and having to figure out how it's connected together and where the all the pieces fit and tr reading it and understanding it kind of thing. So that makes sense to me. Um, another one, another friend's experience that made a lot of sense to me was he went in and they actually took a card off the board, uh, like on, off the Kanban board, and 
he did pair programming with one of the developers to actually work on a real card. Um, and that made sense to me too, because that's what he, that's more like what he would actually be doing on the job. Um, uh, collaborating with others, working on cards. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's such a great test. And it's not just a test for the interviewers to get to know the interviewee, it's also a great test for the interviewee to know what it would be like working there, you know, because the interview goes both ways, right? Um, so those are two examples that I thought were a good, good approach um, for interviewing. And there might be others. I think one problem is that, you know, Amazon, Google, you know, the, the Fang uh, companies, they all do this and the coding challenges and they can, you know, they have so many applicants, um, they can pick and choose. They want to weed out the, weed out the people who are just applying because it's a big company. Um, and, uh, and I think one problem is that smaller companies that are not fang companies, um, want to imitate the fan companies. <laughs> so basically Google, Amazon wannabes, uh, just following their example kind of thing. But one of the advantages to being a smaller company is that you don't have to do that. You know, you can take a more personalized approach and um, do it uh, a little, uh, customize, customize it based on what your actual company's requirements are um, and your company culture is too. So that was something I thought about in this process. Um, as for me, algorithms, I've always found, uh, it's always been difficult for me to have the motivation to just work algorithms. You know, it. I sit down, I start doing it and it feels just like a waste of time. Like I wanna be creating something, I wanna be building things I, I want to be, um, and not just solving little arbitrary problems. Uh, and, you know, whenever I sit down to do an algorithm, I think I do algorithms all the time when I'm creating something, when I'm building something. Uh, I've got to, there's that, that's how we, how we get the computer to do what we want it to do, the program. Um, we write algorithms. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's always felt like a waste of time to me, but I suppose it's like exercising. It's like lifting weights or something. You're not, yeah, but, um, so yeah, that was a good challenge and I learned a lot and I really appreciated all the feedback that I got as well.